Hey guys, so today I'm with my brother here and he bought this older RV and I was gonna show you around on the inside and give you a little tour. And the funniest thing about this is the previous owner did not dump the sewer so it smelled like, it, it smelled awful when he first walked in. So, quick tip, when you buy an RV, make sure the tanks are dumped. because So here's the outside of it. What year is it, Luke? 93. It's a 93 Fleetwood Prowler. Or Prowler made by Fleetwood. This thing's pretty retro. It's awesome. And we are, he is in the middle of rebuilding it. So it's going to be totally rebuilt on the inside. I think he picked it up for 1K exactly. So. There's the outside, super retro. Are you gonna paint? Are you gonna, gonna paint the outside. not to paint the outside? Okay. So just the inside. The outside is gonna stay original. Okay. So right now it's totally gutted, and it's pretty gross looking, but it's it's a work in progress for him. So the sink and the countertop off to the left, and I think here would be one of those little pop out. Um, countertop space too. So as you walk toward the back, the bathroom is right in here. And I think he's already started working painting that. It's a pretty decent space actually. This is the bathroom and then it's just a uh, full bedroom back here. And this is where the microwave would go right here. And there's another door to the outside, which is really cool that they put two doors in these trailers. Usually there would be just one. But anyway, the back room here was, the floor was rotted out. Some of the walls was rotted out. The ceiling uh, was rotted too. And it looks like he replaced it with just two by twos. Took all the rot out and use tough as nails glue on that but anyway yeah he rebuilt the bed too and he's gonna just put plywood over there the really cool thing about the front that i like a lot is this whatchamacallit but anyway that folds up and it's basically a cabinet space as you can see down here it's like a, it turns into a cabinet and it's a bed so a younger kid can easily sleep on there, no problem. Oh yeah, this thing's gonna look awesome when it's done, that's for sure. So I'm sure you can put all new flooring in. I can't wait to go, I'll, sh I'll actually post a video of the after, and we'll take some before and afters, and that will all be in the, vi in the video to come. So stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't, and you'll be able to see the, the after of this trailer. It'll be awesome. So it's small but mighty. Big things, maybe maybe it'll be put on Airbnb, maybe, or just be sold. So everything worked. Um, I think the kit, I think the sink had some plumbing issues, and still got some stuff going on. I can fix this down here. Okay. Right now, but that's all that's left there. The fridge doesn't work though. And the fridge, the guy, the guy that sold this to him said that the fridge worked fine the propane was just not hooked up or the gas was not hooked up so we looked at the gas and it was not hooked up but we trusted him in thinking that it was going to work and i think it does not work so no it's plugged into electricity right now it doesn't even work at all so it looks like we'll have to buy a new he'll have to buy a new fridge so if you're in the market to buy something like this there's a couple things that you want to know and you want to look for before you buy and the first thing is look for water damage and it's really really important <laughs> as you can see like mine my trailer that I remodeled had water damage and this one has a little bit of water damage so you want to do your do your homework and do your research and look through that whole trailer and and look in every crack and crevice so I think the coolest part of this trailer is the tires check this out oh yeah so vintage <laughs> I <Aye>, man <laughs> that's awesome but anyway, the colors are so sick. Can't wait to see what the, the finished product looks like. 
Another tip is when you are about to pull the trailer, check the tires because actually in many cases, tires have dried out so much that when you pull them and they've been parked in the sun for so long, the tires have dried out and they will literally pop and rip off as you're driving and that can cause a big havoc. So make sure you check the, the tires, make sure there's no cracks in them. And if they're good, you are good. If not, you might want to do your, you might want to do some more research or figure out how far you actually need to tow this thing. If it's a long haul, you might want to do something about that. So there's something else you need to know when you're going to buy an older RV like this. And it is <laughs> when you walk in, if you see um, formula and spray that is supposed to get rid of smoke smell or um, pet smell or something, like you know you have a problem. Like I went and saw an RV the other day, a used RV, older one. And the first thing I notice when I walk in is this chemical to <laughs> remove smoke. And I asked the guy, I said, hey, is there, was there anyone that smoked in here? And he, no, no. <laughs> but it was dumb because obviously someone smoked in there or there were pets and like, that is a hard thing to get rid of unless you're ripping everything down and you might not have to worry about it. But <laughs> yeah, be careful. If you do end up buying an RV with a pet smell or smoke odor, I recommend this bottle. It is an odor eliminator. I know you may not be able to see it that good, um, but it says it treats 6,000 cubic feet with this one bottle, but we actually use two in the RV. So um, maybe grab a few bottles of that, And but it really is awesome. And it you go into that trailer because there was some smoke smell a tad bit. It's all gone, you can't smell it anymore, which is really nice. Um, EJ Wheat & Co. Total Release Odor Fogger, Odor Eliminator, Fresh Scent. So this stuff is awesome, highly recommend. So the other thing that he did was, whoa, that's scary. Um, he replaced the, the rubber roof on here, and that's always really, really important for an RV is resealing the roof because you're gonna have problems especially in the northwest here we're in washington this will become so gross and it will start leaking on the seams on the edges so that's really cool that he was able to get that roof on before it started to rain again and on the edges you just use a uh, the silicon and around all the seams around the whole edge you're going to want to um, put caulk on and I will post more about it in another video, but as for the rubber roofing, a major thing you need to do to make sure that rubber roof that you put on stays is you need to prep it really well. You need to clean it. And if you use, um, oh, what's that? That natural degreaser. Degreaser is called Simple Green, and you can just spray Simple Green all over it. Use an RV brush or a soft car wash brush and you'll just use some water and you'll brush it right off and, and spray it right off and then wait for it to completely dry. If it's a colder day, wait a little longer. If it's warm, you might be good in like 15 minutes and then you can put the rubber roofing on. So make sure the prep is good because if you don't prep it good, it will start to crack and peel and you will have a leaking roof. That's a wrap for today. If you liked it, hit that thumbs, smash the thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, still hit the thumbs up button and let me know in the comments what you would do if you bought a camper like this and subscribe for more because I'm gonna be posting videos like this daily and I post once a day. So giving you guys tons of content, tons of value and something I'm passionate about. So I'll see you in the next video. You guys take care. This is super satisfying, so I wanted to show you guys. It's gonna be awesome. In the video afterwards, I'll show you what it looks like after. You won't even notice any of the, the, the damage that was here before.